it now. I know we're talking about diversifying for Super Frogs, but I believe back in 2015 when Cubsy and Wealthy Man were on Cloud9 formerly with Roasties on their team, they won the North American Championship that year with Rogue Mage Druid. So Cubsy and Wealthy Man are not, uh, it's an un unknown composition to them. So they can take Chun-Li on, and he's been playing a melee class most of the time, and it plays similarly to Windwalker and Rogue. We see opening pressure on Omnivore as he is the primary target. Good crowd control so far onto Whoopi. They've managed to pull Omnivore's trinket. That's an open Opening for a smoke bomb attempt later on. We'll have to see. Whoopi is, has very good positioning normally in matchups. Definitely going to be watching him in these games to make plays. I, I would regard him as one of the best Mistweaver monks in the entire game. Pushing in, getting an Yikes. incapacity over on the Cubsy. Chun Li having to trink it out and use that evasion very early on. Rosita Jones and Omnivore pulling out some defensive cooldowns from Super Frogs. All right, Whoopi playing that relentless. He's caught into a full blind. Omnivore in defensive stance. Crowd control on Rosita, but they need to get a sap out of this blind. War Banner was down. They're not able to get the sap. It's a definitely a bit of a throwaway there by Chun Li. Although nice read by Omnivore to try and predict that sap with War Banner and break it up. Whoopi pops way of the crane, so he's playing a very aggressive build, but gets caught by a polymorph. Nice punish by Wealthy Man. Yeah, Whoopi's going to be caught into that polymorph, not be able to help out his team with damage, but luckily for him, really, no one's taking pressure. Rosita Jones getting bursted down a little bit here. Cubsy moving in for an offensive Cyclone. Manages to find it on a Whoopi. Maybe Super Frost can start to land some pressure, but they just can't find the damage we'd normally see from Rogue Mage. I think it's important to know that Rosita Jones was in the finals of BlizzCon last year, and he kind of took a break in the middle of this year, and he's, he's back in BFA, and he's playing for fun in this tournament, but he's still a contender to keep your eyes on. Whoopi was only, I believe, a game away from qualifying to BlizzCon last year, and Omnivore is a multi-rank one ladder warrior, so if Four Fun picks up a fourth member, moving into the future, obviously they can't earn enough points to qualify to BlizzCon, but this is a good opportunity for them to practice. Nice crowd control initiation by the Super Frogs, locking down the entire team of Four Fun. Omnivore is being greedy in this position, not trading out cooldowns. I think there might have been a bit of a technical issue there. It seems like a complete throwaway if it wasn't. Super Frogs are going to lead 1-0. That's like a Mage not popping ice block kind of situation. A good job defensively as well while dishing out that pressure. They were able to melt the armor off of the warrior last time. Let's see if they're going to be able to find another victory here. The Super Frogs lead by one. This is a good start for the Super Frogs with triple crowd control initiated. Wealthy Man moving in position. Ice form popped. He can do a lot of damage off the back of this. Omnivore trades die by the sword immediately in response to the Super Frogs all in tactic. That will allow him to survive in this situation but once again opens him up to Smoke Bomb. Basically, if he moves too far away from Whoopi, what will happen is Chun-Li will stun him, drop a Smoke Bomb. Anyone outside the Smoke Bomb cannot interact to anyone inside of it. So Omnivore needs to stay close to Whoopi to deny that opening. Yep, yeah, and for fun, obviously, they chose Dalaran Sewers as their map. That's going to allow them to have more uptime on Wealthy Man and Cubsy if they want to make swaps, as well as utilize these small boxes that you can see to line of sight. Some of the mage damage coming in from a Wealthy Man. All right, we see crowd control initiated on Whoopi. He wanted to go for an incapacitate on that spell reflected cyclone, but got denied by Cubsy's bash. Now Omnivore's on the run. Heroic leaps to the portal of Whoopi. So this little green thing right there. Whoopi can move back and portal to that like he just did to get in line of sight, but he gets kicked by Chun-Li. Nice reaction. Whoopi forced to use leg sweep defensively. They would like to use these stuns on the rogue to force pressure and get a trinket, but when he's interrupted, he doesn't have many options. So he used the stun to deny damage and recover. It's going to put him behind Cubsy's leady on mana. Yeah, and you can tell. Cubsy and Wealthy Man, they are on point with their crowd control, where Zeta Jones really hasn't been able to put out too much pressure. Finally, a Storm Bolt out on Wealthy Man, incapacitate on Cubsy. This could be the first ice block as Wealthy Man gets lower and lower, blinks away to safety with a kidney shot on Omnivore from Chun-Li. Wealthy Man, though, playing it a little greedy. That was the ascendance from Rosita Jones, almost taking him down before he could get the ice block off. Luckily, he manages to pull out that cooldown and survive, but that's a small victory for four fun. Basically, ascendance for Rosita Jones. He's looking to force Ice Block every time with it. This is a three-minute cooldown, so roughly after nine-minute mark, I would say, is where Four Fun are looking to kill the Mage, which is normally why the Mage isn't the kill target. You'd much rather go after the Rogue, who only has Trinket Evasion. So going after the Mage is an interesting decision here. We saw a lot of teams just going after the Rogue. It means that they're playing for a very, very long game. We see uh, Cubsy moving in, Super Frogs initiating crowd control onto the entire team. They need to make sure that Rosita can't support. If Rosita Jones is able to toss out healing surges such as this, Omnivore is going to bounce back on health 
quite easily. Cubsy now caught in crowd control. Whoopi with Way of the Crane available. Could dish out a ton of pressure. He's holding on to it. It costs a lot of mana. He's likely wanting to time it with Manatee, as we saw earlier, as Venruki pointed out. But Counterspell, the Counterspell is really the game-winning play here by Wealthy Man, interrupting Whoopi, denying the heals. In the Cyclone at low HP, you can really tell that Cubsy and Wealthy Man are veterans on this Mage Druid synergy. Uh-oh. Whoopi caught into a full blind. Rosita Jones all alone. He gets the Astral Shift. He needs to get out of line of sight. Tosses himself a heal. Whoopi might be able to throw out some heals now, but he's susceptible to the kick. That's one of the things about the Mistweaver Monk is they are so susceptible to the counter spells, to the Shadow Step kicks. They get interrupted. It's going to be easy for Super Frogs to take someone down. Now Rosita Jones in a situation. He has no trinket, no Astral Shift. Whoopi, he's playing relentless. So there's a huge opportunity here for Super Frogs to land crowd control, and Whoopi can't get out of it because he's playing relentless and take down Rosita Jones. All right, let's look at the situation here. They still need to try and force a second ice block if they're going to go after Wealthy Man. They likely are going after Chun-Li as he's used Evasion and Vanish. He's the most vulnerable target in this position. Cubsy charging at Rosita, trying to allow him to not move. Maybe look for a Cyclone. He fake casts the Wind Shear. Rosita Jones grounds the Cyclone, but another counter spell by Wealthy Man. Perfect timing to try and get some pressure here on Omnivore. Unfortunately, with no crowd control on Rosita, he's able to support and allow them to recover. Cubsy caught into a Storm Volt. Whoopi moving in. He might pop away of the crane and go for an all-in on Cubsy, but now he's overextended. He's exposed to crowd control. This could be dangerous if he gets locked down in a Polymorph. He's got way of the crane, but he's forced to run away, and this is why way of the crane is so... It's so dangerous to use against a mage. You can just walk into crowd control so easily, and it costs a lot of mana. He's falling behind. Cubsy not too far ahead, luckily, though, if they try to play for the late game. I would still like to see them do Incapacitates on the Druid, Stormbolt on the Rogue, Leg Sleep on the Druid, just play a classic setup, Windshear the Polymorph from the Turbo. Uh, they're not really initiating any sort of crowd control setups, and they're kind of just playing it almost lazily. We've got Ascendants coming up in 15 seconds, and they need to make a play with it. Yeah, they do. Chun-Li looking for some damage here onto uh, Omnivore right now with the Shadow Step Kidney Shot behind the pillar. Just trying to protect Cubsy a little bit as he was forced out to trade his Bark Skin and Iron Bark in that situation. Vendetta is going to be pulled out by Chun-Li as well, but it seems like Omnivore, he's going to be completely fine. Whoopi's there to just throw out heals when he needs it, and really Super Frogs weren't able to pull out any sort of defensive cooldowns with that major offense coming in from that Vendetta. The other thing is Omnivore has decided to play Gnome. So as a Gnome, you can get out of Roots every minute with the racial, but Dark Iron Dwarf, I think, would be much superior if they're playing this defensive strategy. We see double stun lock combos by four fun, but they're chasing down wealthy men. They need to get an ice block with this ascendance that's available. They're holding on to it. They're actually making a swap to Whoopi, trying to catch him off guard, but he preemptively activated his defensive cooldown, reduced a lot of damage, and was able to easily recover through that. That was a nice read by Whoopi on the swap. Rosita Jones actually getting caught in hibernate on Ghost Wolf. Bit of a misplay. Now getting entangling rooted. Cubsy taking Rosita out of the match for quite some time. Finally reconnecting to wealthy Wealthy Man, nice knock, nice ring of peace. Wealthy Man out of line inside of Cubsy. Whoopi moving in. Does he have any crowd control for Cubsy? Doesn't look like it. And without that cross crowd control, Cubsy denies the kill with a well timed Iron Bark. That Wealthy Man going to be completely fine. Chun Li once again just putting out the consistent pressure on Rosita Jones and Omnivore. Dampening has now just kicked in. And Cubsy, with the way he's positioned, it's going to be easy for him to run away and get drinks. Rosita Jones and Omnivore need to make sure that they're continuing pressure. They need to have pressure on Chun Li and Wealthy Man so Cubsy can't afford to run away, sit down. Down, regenerate his mana. Now Whoopi, he, you know, you can see him repositioning his port, trying to play on top of Cubsy. Manages to land the incapacitate. I don't think there's a follow-up leg sweep. Gets it on to Chun Li, but now Cubsy's free to basically do whatever he wants. Yeah, for fun are just playing very passively. Whoopi's doing a good job of reading the incoming crowd control in this situation. He activated this life cocoon green shield on Omnivore. It just soaks up all the damage. And he, so he saw a crowd control coming. He activates the defensive one second before it happens. Wealthy Man under fire. This ascendance needs to get a block, and it's looking like it might be able to. They really need to get an ice block so they can win on the nine minute timer. They're not getting it, and that means they have to go for another six minutes if they want to keep going after the mage. And I feel like the rogue is just a better target. He had no trinket. They could have gone for a Stormbolt ascendance, and the target selection for fun and the crowd control from their team is lacking even though the defensive play is great yeah we'll be uh still at a good position right now moving in once again gets the incapacitate on the cubsy wealthy man's still low no iron bar going to be available for cubsy if omnivore can get there and they can continue this damage they might be able to take wealthy man down but cubsy denies with a cyclone on rosita jones he's got no trinket and that is just 
the power of the Mage Druid CC. If Cubsy can get out these consistent Cyclones that we know him for, it's going to be so difficult for Rosita Jones and Omnivore to actually close out this game. I really like Whoopi's Ring of Pieces on this map, locking Chun Li out of the fight for a couple of seconds there, allowing his team to get some uptime on Wealthy Man. But uptime on a Frost Mage is short lived as Wealthy Man immediately Cone of Colds and starts to kite away. Cubsy's crossing the map. Looks like they're trying to get some crowd control going here shortly, but they need to be careful. Cubsy crossing. If they can cross crowd control the whole team, they definitely could take Rosita down with no trinket or even go after Omnivore with no die by the sword. There's two openings. Whoopi's going to have to predict that on two targets, which is incredibly difficult to do. Wealthy Man Ice Form rolling. He wants to do big damage, but Cubsy's not moving in for crowd control. This Ice Form is basically wasted. Or Cubsy's trying to go for a drink. Wealthy Man was trying to counter pressure them away. I'm curious to see how much mana he actually got at the end of that exchange. Doesn't appear to be too much. And Whoopi can maintain his mana if he avoids using Wave of the Crane. He's trying to sit down for a drink. He needs to be careful to not get sapped by Chun-Li. Chun-Li went for the Vanish, but wasn't able to get in line of sight. Instead, now going for Cog Control. Nice counter spell by Wealthy Man once again onto Whoopi, interrupting the incoming heals, trying to force a Trinket, but just not enough damage. Yeah, now that Chun-Li has no Vanish, it's going to be much easier for Whoopi to escape, get out of combat, and there's no threat of that sap a little bit later on. So if Rosita Jones and Omnivore, they can play passive, they can play safe, this is a good opportunity for Whoopi to actually regen his mana. I think he did sit down for a drink, getting huge amounts of mana back, and this is really, really important at this point in dampening, as he's going to have to spend a lot of mana to keep his team healed up when it, it, the healing reduction is just so strong. But a full blind on Whoopi, Omnivore could be in a lot of trouble right now. Follow up Polymorph, Omnivore needs to not be afraid to use cooldowns, uses the Rallying Cry, try to keep himself alive. Life Cocoon comes in at the nick of time from Whoopi. That should be enough to stabilize him, but a nice offensive Cyclone coming in from Cubsy will deny any incoming heals from Whoopi. I believe that was War Bannered by Omnivore. Nice job reducing that incoming crowd control so Whoopi can connect heals. He's got Way of the Crane. Way of the Crane is another alternative to Ascendance to try and force Ice Blocks. Unfortunately, Whoopi normally can't get uptime, but he is getting a lot in this position. He's trying to line sight the clone. He ring of pieces it. Now Chun-Li is falling behind. I like that. Just switch to the Rogue when he's got no trinket. He's a very vulnerable target, but with crowd control secured by Wealthy Man onto two members, Omnivore is in the three-on-one. Rosita gets cycloned by Cubsy. Shadow Step Kick. Great crowd control from the Super Frogs, but they need more damage if they're going to take Omnivore down. they got an 11-second window to try and push him over the edge, but I don't think they've got enough damage to do it, and suddenly Whoopi's ahead on mana, and we move deeper into dampening. It's going to become more and more difficult for Cubsy to keep his team alive. Alive. Yeah, and Chun Li is going to be more and more of a vulnerable target as well. No trinket. If they can get a storm bolt or a light sweep on him, one nice swap. You can see Rosita Jones. He has the ascendance. He pulls the trigger on it, trying to take down Wealthy Man, forcing out the second ice block of the game. Might just be able to solo get it as Cubsy's looking for a drink. Wealthy Man trades out the ice block, but Cubsy's going to be able to regenerate a lot of his mana, getting out of combat. So it's a decent trade from Super Frogs, but that's a scary thing to do at this point in dampening. All right, they pull evasion from Chun Li. They switch targets. Wealthy Man and ice block is immune to damage, so they switch the rogue dish a ton of damage to him and get an evasion as well so it's a two for one ascendance that was a high value ascendance the next one in three minutes needs to win the game if they don't manage to get a kill before that point both healers have almost reset their mana pools by drinking that's going to extend the fight for a little bit longer i would like to see a wave of the crane attempt by whoopy to try and push chun li over the edge they got a couple more seconds on chun li's trinket they've got good crowd control on cubsy he's likely to have to trinket this they're actually going after wealthy man and i don't like this he's still got a second ice block chun li had no trinket in that position and Every time they've got this opening, they just don't take it. They're playing for the more standard target, but I feel like they could have ended this minutes ago if they were just going after Chun-Li instead. Yeah, they might just want to force Wealthy Man into sort of a defensive position, but I don't know if that's going to work out. Full Ray of Frost gets channeled out on Omnivore with the Polymorph on Whoopi. He's going to be able to get out of that. Has a Life Cocoon. Dive of the Sword gets traded out oh, by Omnivore spell. with a counter spell onto Whoopi. This is very scary for fun. Full blind now. Omnivore's in a lot of trouble. Rosita Jones has to help him out, but he's caught into the Cyclone. Whoopi might get out of some CC right now. That was a nice defensive of fear from Omnivore, forcing Chun Li off of him and allowing Whoopi enough time to top him off with the way of the crane. Nice ring of peace once again. He's been doing a good job in this matchup, denying the cast from Cubsy now into the incapacitate. Rosita Jones Omnivore looking for some pressure onto Wealthy Man, but he's doing a good job kiting with the blizzards, with the roots, with the Kona Colds. But now that they have a little bit more uptime, they might be able to force out that final ice block of the game. All right, another counter spell by Wealthy Man. I, at this point, I've lost track how many counter spells he's actually landed. It's definitely high level play. You can win the game off of that. Normally you'd win with Polymorphs, but Counterspell is a great option as well. A little bit more difficult to secure as your opponents can fake cast it quite frequently, but in this matchup, Wealthy Man is definitely on fire, and even one Counterspell at 40% dampening can just eradicate the team. Rosita gets cloned up. No control on Whoopi, though. 
They need to look to try and rotate that as soon as possible. Whoopi's been doing a good job, but the counter spell again. Secure. They swapped to Rosita in a smoke bomb with no trinket. If they can burst him down in this timer, they could just take him out. Dampening is so high, healing is reduced by so much that it's going to be difficult. Rosita just needs to hang on a bit longer. He's got that ascendance, his po most powerful offensive cooldown in 30 more seconds. But at this point, there's an ice block. There's an evasion to deny the kill, and their target selection has just been so awful this game that I don't actually see an opportunity for, for fun. Yeah, Whoopi had to commit a lot there. He used the Life Cocoon, used the Way of the Crane, smartly ran into the uh, the Frozen Orb so he could use his Way of the Crane without any sort of threat of Blind or Polymorph uh, coming in from Shunli, a wealthy man. So that was very nicely done by Whoopi. Ports away on top of Cubsy. Cubsy immediately lands the Bash, potentially into a full Cyclone. And now once again, Rosita Jones and Omnivore are vulnerable, but they have nice pressure onto Wealthy Man. Might be able to force out that Ice it. Block as he gets out almost into Execute range. Cubsy being greedy, not throwing out the Iron Bark whatsoever, but nice crowd control on Rosita Jones and Omnivore. Now Wealthy Man caught into the Stormbolt. They have uptime. There's the Ascendance. Ice Block gets forced out. They need to turn their attention to Chun-Li. He uses the Evasion. Wants to avoid as much damage as possible. Both healers are not doing well on mana. And we are at 50% dampening. All right, so they trade one for one on the Ascendance. And that kind of denies the burst unless they can connect to Wealthy Man. Wealthy Man needs to kite. He blinks away. He needs to avoid Rosita Jones as long as possible. He's got Ice Form, though. He wants to counter pressure. Omnivore doesn't have Die by the Sword if he can get some cast off. But he's just not able to. For fun, finally getting some uptime here on Wealthy Man. Nice win here on Cubsy. He's almost completely tapped on mana. 50%. Nice triple fear. Uh -oh. That's going to close the game out. Perfect timing from Omnivore. I can't help but feel that they could have done that sooner. Maybe they just wanted to focus on playing safe and playing for the long game, but I think for... Jax to Millie's team in the lower bracket still alive in the tournament, so Super Frogs cannot afford to be eliminated in this cup. They didn't make top eight in the last one. Now they're barely hanging on. They need to clean up their cross crowd control if they want to initiate a kill. This large map will allow them to do that much more easily and much more often because it exposes Whoopi. In this position, we see Wealthy Men dragging the melee classes far into the open. Whoopi has to cross the map down center field, and then the team of the Super Frogs can pounce on him when he's in the open. Yeah, that is true. I'll have to see what Chun Li decides to do. Looking like he wanted to open up onto Whoopi, but Whoopi shut that down immediately with a nice incapacity. Chun Li getting swapped to a lot of pressure very early on, and this is what we're talking about. A warrior enhancement trauma. They do tremendous burst to an assassination hero. They can get on Wealthy Man, force Cubsy to put hots onto him. Then when they're making their way to Wealthy Man, they just put pressure onto Chun Li. It'll force him into a defensive position especially if the game gets extended later into dampening. That's definitely the best strategy for the warrior enhancement is attack one target while walking to another. You can build pressure on the rogue while forcing the mage to move at the same time when you do that. Rather than only going after the mage and never hitting anyone else, it's the easiest move for fun to heal through if you're playing like that. Wealthy man under fire here, ascendance pops. So this ascendance needs to get ice blocks. They've got good crowd control. I like to switch to Chun-Li. They should be going after him instead, bursting him down and getting evasion. That's a much more vulnerable target. He's always in a great position, but now Wealthy Man reverses the pressure with a nicely timed counter spell. You can never count the Super Frogs out when Wealthy Man's on their roster. Yeah, these counter spells are just coming in so clutch from Wealthy Man. Just really high level gameplay, putting Whoopi behind. There's the blind sap onto Whoopi, though. Rosita Jones in a lot of trouble with a polymorph over on Omnivore. Cubsy pushing in, wants to follow up the CC if he can. Full bash into Cyclone. Rosita Jones tries to shut it down, but Cubsy fakes it. Whoopi then ports away. Nicely done. Rosita Jones gets stopped off by Whoopi, but the, the one of the main struggles for Super Frogs in this matchup is the fact that Rosita Jones on the Enhancement Tron, they have so much off-healing. That off-healing is very powerful. So if they want to take down Omnivore, they have to make sure they've locked both Whoopi and Rosita Jones out of the game. If they want to take down Rosita Jones, they have to make sure that they're interrupting him. He's caught in the stuns. Cause if he's not, he's going to be able to kite away throw out some instant heals on himself, and it's just very difficult to take an enhancement shaman down. I really want to see when Whoopi decides to make a move with Way of the Crane, so it allows him to access a huge boost of damage. Not a lot of healers get that access, and it can almost turn your team into a triple DPS, but the downside is that you have to be in melee range, and against a Frost Mage, that's already fairly difficult, and you're going to get Polymorphed in Cyclone, so Whoopi has to pick his moments to activate this powerful spell, and so far, he's not found any opportunities this match, and he really needs to start doing it if he wants to put his team ahead, or else they're just playing for the long game, but on a big map, that's typically favored to the Frost Mage. Yeah, what you need to do if you want to use the Way of the Crane is you need to have good communication with your team. Omnivore, he has to have Pummel. Rosita Jones, he needs Grounding, he needs Wind Shear. They have to be able to shut down the Polymorphs and Cyclones like you kind of mentioned that is going to prevent him from getting that damage out. But if they have all of their tools available to them, that's when Whoopi can really push in and get aggressive with that. All right, Wealthy Man repositioning, so Whoopi's dragged into center field. Perhaps he tries to get in position to Cyclone, but Whoopi, uh, Whoopi dodges it by moving out of range. 
It's a nice move by him. I like Wealthy Man's Kiting. He's going to the corners of the map where there are no pillars so that Rosita and Omnivore don't have a clear retreat path available and they're either forced to deter off of the mage and hit somebody else or walk into the open and be very exposed to damage. Whoopi's doing a great job on his mana. You can definitely tell that the mana changes have allowed Mistweaver to be more competitive with Resto Druid into the late game and the Super Frogs can't rely on this passive playstyle. They need to get some setups going. Yeah, Whoopi, look at him. He's moving into position. He wants to get the incapacitate on Cubsy into a leg sweep and that's where for fun can really get aggressive. Cubsy looking for the bash, but it gets incapacitated. Nicely done by Whoopi. There's the follow-up leg sweep, and now Whoopi can basically run away from Cubsy. Got locked out, though. You can see him rolling in, trying to avoid any sort of CC, but he gets caught into the full blind, and now Rosita Jones could be in some trouble. Full KD shot gets activated. He trinkets Astral Shift immediately. DR Polymorph going out onto Whoopi, but I think with those cooldowns, Rosita Jones traded out. He's going to be fine, but that's a big victory for Super Frogs. You can see Ice Form's going to be coming up shortly for Wealthy. I mean, actually, I don't even think he's playing Ice Form anymore. He might have been in that specialization. So they're really playing for a sustained long game. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of that. We saw in the EU region with uh, Hong Mage was playing this sustained damage build and they didn't do anything the whole game. It's very obvious that uh, the Azurite trait that buffs your damage with Ice Form with a huge boost of intellect is usually the go-to for Frost Mage at the moment. We're going to see what they can get done. Obviously, the Icy Veins is still going to be a scary cooldown. It's just not as available as much as often. Uh, we see Icy Veins actually popped here and really not getting anything done. They're not properly cross crowd control. They're finally some cross crowd control with Whoopi Counterspell, Rosita Cyclone. They really want to pull a die by the sword in this position, but they're not finding it. Maybe Wealthy Man feels like it, it's the enrage he needs a little bit later on the game to close out, but uh, there's no real downside to playing the Ice Form build with Frigid Grasp. It's undispellable. You use the Ice Form, you get the intellect for 20 seconds, and there's nothing really the enemy team can do about it. So definitely I feel like it's a questionable spec decision from Wealthy Man, but there's got to be a reason why he's opted out of it. Now Chun-Li looking for a little bit of pressure, but honestly, Super Frogs, they haven't really been able to find too much damage. They've had a couple good setups, but Rosita Jones, Omnivore, they aren't under the same pressure we saw in the last two games. I mean, both teams are just playing this matchup very slowly. They're not really trying to initiate or overextend or expose themselves. So when both teams play in a neutral position with the Frost Mage snares and the enhancement off healing, it's very difficult for either team to get anything going. Nice read by Whoopi, preemptively activating that life cocoon again one second before the crowd control hit him. That was a nice read. It allows his team to comfortably sit through crowd control. Now they can start getting aggressive. They've managed to bait Chun-Li to use Faint. They could go after him with a Storm Bolt here with Warbreaker Avatar. Omnivore has a big combo of damage available. Curious to see who he decides to pop it on. Lands a double Warbreaker. That's going to boost his damage quite a lot. Wealthy Man under fire. He gets pummeled dangerously low. He's trying to hold on with the temp shield. A very greedy play, but he gets away with it. Yeah, the high level decision there. Rosita Jones, Astral Shift gets traded out once again with the full blind over on a Whoopi. Omnivore caught into the Cyclone. Nice triple CC coming in. Vanish sap from Chun-Li. Rosita Jones all alone, but they haven't been able to pull out any sort of damage just yet. Omnivore throws a Storm Bolt onto Wealthy Man. He gets reflected on his Polymorph. Omnivore basically solo CCing Wealthy Man, just not allowing him to get any sort of burst out on that go. And now that blind was essentially wasted. Oh, looks like they're going after Cubsy, maybe? Whoopi and Rosita are going after him a little bit, trying to maybe create some split pressure. That could be a way for them to win on mana in the late game against the Resto Druid, hitting multiple targets. So he has to apply Rejuvenation to multiple targets, costs him a lot of mana. He has to switch Life Bloom. That's going to put him very far behind. It's definitely a viable strategy to split, but I would have much rather them just stuck to the strategy they had at the start of the game. Attack Chun-Li while walking at Wealthy Man. That's, that has to be the best strategy overall. Instead, their Omnivore is just gunning down Wealthy Man and ignoring Chun-Li, and that buys time for Evasion to come back up, that buys time for Trinkets to come back up, and For Fun just keep missing windows. We're going to have to see how it plays out deep into Dampening. For Fun was able to take it on Dalaran, but on a large map like this where Whoopi overextends, he's exposed a lot more. I'm not sure if it'll be the same case. And you can see Whoopi once again, he just wants to shut down any sort of drinks Cubsy when he creates that large amount of distance. It's likely he wants to try to get out of combat. I don't know if he can. Wealthy Man getting low activates the Temporal Shield. Whoopi's doing a good job of his positioning in this game, making sure he, when he pushes in, he's not susceptible to crowd control, always relaying his port, so it's in a safe spot for him to get away from any sort of cast that Wealthy Man gets off. And these large pillars can actually sometimes backfire for the Rogue Mage when they're kiting, especially for the Wissiever Monk. He can use those pillars to line of sight any sort of blink counter spells, and if Wealthy Man does 
decide to pull the trigger with that, then he is sort of locked behind this pillar where he, it's, he's very susceptible to the melee damage from Omnivore and Rosita Jones. Rupi tried to make a play there, moving in and leg-sweeping Wealthy Man, managed to at least get his Trinket moving into deep dampening, but Whoopi is now heavily far behind him, and the big map is playing dividends here for Super Frogs. Cubs, he can easily get away, drink, and regenerate all of his mana and continue healing late into the match. If Whoopi does that, he doesn't have heal over time effects healing his targets while he's running and drinking, so they're very vulnerable. Good crowd control by the Super Frogs, but not finding even an Astral Shift off the back of this. The nice kidney shot. This could be a nice punish. He can't activate Astral Shift in this stun lock, but he may be able to just survive at the end of it, dampening not high enough really to push Rosita over the edge. Whoopi ducks behind the corner. Should be, be able to pick up Rosita quite rapidly. Ascendance available. This is when they need to start pinning ice blocks or going after Chun-Li. Chun-Li has no trinket. This, To me, this is the clearest cut to victory. Whoopi rolls in, incapacitates Cubsy, Stormbolt Chun-Li, Winsher Polly, Chun-Li dies. It, it just seems so basic in this position, but they're so reluctant to do it. They're just playing so passively. Ascendance gets popped. Where's the crowd control on Cubsy? Where's the Storm Bolt? They're not going for it. They're just snared up by Frozen. Our Omnivore leaps over, but there's still no Storm Bolt. There's the Storm Bolt, but it's seconds too late. There's the incapacity, but that's seconds too late, and Wealthy Man easily survives. Yeah, definitely a missed opportunity there for fun. They just really want to keep the pressure on the mage. Finally, Chun Li getting swapped to. Cubsy responds with the Iron Bar. Chun Li throwing out the feint as well to reduce some of that incoming damage. It's not as powerful as it was in Legion because it does have a cooldown, so you have to time it just a little bit better, that damage reduction from the Assassination Rogue, but you can go, you can see Super Frogs looking for another setup with a bash over on a Whoopi. Rosita Jones taking some pressure, but unfortunately, Wealthy Man not able to really get out that much damage. Counter spell again by Wealthy Man. This deep into dampening. This could be dangerous. Whoopi moves in, though. He can activate Wave of the Crane while interrupted, which is one advantage, but he's not Wave of the Crane during that. They could have got a block here. They might still get it. All right, they still get the ice block, and Chun-Li had to evasion. This is a massive opening for fun. They're massively ahead on defensive cooldowns. Dampening is starting to ramp up. This is where they need to start nailing the crowd control. It's guaranteed that they can kill Chun-Li in this next attempt if they properly execute. And on the board, just leaps away. That was all the burst coming in from Wealthy Man and Whoopi behind the pillar. He's going to be able to channel some heals, some soothing mists, top off Omnivore. Now he's ready to go and jump back into combat once again. Chun Li has no evasion. He's going to be a really good target. No feint available either. There's the full blind onto Whoopi. But Wealthy Man, he doesn't really have damage available to force out any sort of defensives. I mean, they get the Astral Shift, but I guess the Vendetta was enough for them. I really want to see these setups better executed by Super Frogs. Wealthy Man had already committed the Frozen Orb, the Comet Storm. Basically, all his damage, Whoopi goes into a blind, and they're really not that scared because of that. Both teams are just playing for a very passive, late-game, big wave push strategy, and at that point, you're almost leaving the game up to chance. If you get connected on in one Storm Bolt, deep dampening, the game ends for you. So we see a Smoke Bomb on No Trinket. Nice punish by Chun-Li. He ring of pieces to try and deny it, but Chun-Li is able to get some uptime. Cubsy moves in, secures a bash, potential Cyclone. Rosita is trying to get in range to the grounding, but he gets silence. This could close the game out if they have enough damage to push him over the edge, but Omnivore denies the damage on Wealthy Man. Whoopi sneaks in a life cocoon. Rosita survives another crowd control attempt. Well, uh, Whoopi moves in with Way of the Crane, trying to pump out some damage. Double leg sweep. Good setup by Whoopi here. They need to back him up. They're going after Wealthy Man again, and he's got Temp Shield already activated. He's still got an ice block. I mean, inevitably in the late game, it seems to be in favor of four fun, but their targeting seems to be just so off. They really just don't want Wealthy Man to cast, but Rosita Jones in a lot of trouble right now. Another cyclone over onto Whoopi. Zeta Jones gets some heals on himself. Omnivore now getting CC'd up. Wealthy Man taking most of the damage, though. Nice Storm Bolt coming in from Omnivore. Cubsy doesn't really have much in response. This could be the second Ice Block if Rosita Jones can connect. Nice Ring of Peace actually knocking Wealthy Man into Rosita Jones. And they force out the second Ice Block. This could be the last Ice Block of the game at 41% dampening. I don't think Super Frogs can hold on another four minutes. They've got Ascendance. So for fun, have a clear win condition with no Ice Blocks and no Trinket. This next Storm Bolt on Wealthy Man should be a kill. But they're popping Ascendance before Storm Bolt? Omnivore can't really connect. He's trying. He charges over. He temp shields. There's a Storm Bolt after the temp shield. Unless they can burst him down in this window, he's going to pop back to full HP quite easily. This Ascendance was a massive win condition. They're committing Avatar 2 to this attempt. Now they're on the back foot. They don't get anything done. They're falling behind. Super Frogs have an opportunity to swing the game back in their favor. Cubsy stalling out Omnivore with some Cyclones. Rosita getting tunneled down. He seems to be the primary target here, moving into dampening. Nice cap totem by Rosita. He snuck a couple of these in, and that actually banks him an evasion on Chun Li. The next crowd control on Cubsy could close this out. Storm Bolt, Wealthy Man trinkets. He's out of range. Rosita trying desperately to connect here with dampening, almost reaching 50%. I'm not sure how much longer Wealthy Man can hold on. Yeah, 
for fun, and they need to survive this setup. This is the Vendetta. Whoopi caught into the full polymorph. Omnivore all alone. Trinkets out. Die by the sword, but still damage incoming from Wealthy Man and Chun Li. Whoopi has to be able to get some heals out in this situation. Rosita Jones caught into the cyclone. Beautiful cross crowd control from Super Frogs. This could be the setup they need to close out this game. Omnivore getting lower and lower. Whoopi throws out the life cocoon, but a nice cyclone coming in. If Whoopi gets counter counterspelled or anything here, pops the aura mastery, gets some big heals on Omnivore, but another cyclone into kidney shot. This setup could close out the game. I mean, unless Rosita saves him, but with 50% healing reduction, is he actually going to be able to wave the crane at the last second? If he can get one rising sun kick with this, it's going to stabilize Omnivore. Now Chun-Li is on the back foot. He's taking three players right now. Tons of damage. It gets Polymorphed away. Good punish by Wealthy Man. Omnivore still in trouble. Chun-Li as well. With damage so high, the healers basically can't completely recover. It's a race to the finish at this point. Potentially cross kills on both fronts, but the crowd control is relentless. Omnivore falls first. Chun-Li will hang on. Nice map selection by Super Frogs as they move into match point. Now, I, I, we got a lot of things to talk about with this matchup. Oh, I, I, fantastic, <laughs> but their target selection is flat out horrible because the mage is the worst target in this matchup. Yeah. Cobsy or Charlie is way better. Well, and I think the other thing too is typically when you're in a matchup, you can even say in the blind, yeah, you can have the wrong kill target and then you realize that's the wrong kill target and then you you, you have that nice little friendly argument afterwards and then you, you, you kind of reassess things. But I do want to say just one more time, giving credit where credit's due, like Rosita Jones, he tweeted something out about that interview at BlizzCon and I rewatched it last night. Chills. That was a team that made me believe in NA. And it, to, to see him even playing right now is an absolute well, pleasure, pleasure. That's also why we're being so critical, right? I feel yeah. like for fun have a lot of potential. We really want to see them play to their maximum potential. And right now, the team synergy, I would say, is what it's boiling down to for their target selection is just not on point. We've seen Whoopi playing the uh, past tournaments with Vices and Hot JK Purge as Turbo, and they had really high team synergy. That's why they were able to play that composition. They were the only ones in Legion playing it, really. The same composition that's on your screen with Warrior Enhancement Shaman. It requires team synergy. You go for big setup burst moments. It's not like the Warlords of Draenor Turbo, where you were just dragging the fight on and rotating defensively. It's a it's an aggressive comp, even though the, the meta is dampening and late game oriented. We can see right now, good pressure for Super Frogs. Omnivore had to trade out Dive the sword in the initial attack, which is his most powerful defensive. Whoopi's trying to predict crowd control, activating Life Cocoon. Cubsy denies that preemptive play with a well-timed Cyclone. Nice read. They swap to Whoopi to try and punish that preemptive move. Put him slightly behind. They get the fuse. They can reduce magic damage on him. He'll easily recover, but now that they've shown their hand that they'll swap over to Whoopi, he's got to be aware of that and a little bit more careful. Whoopi makes a move. This is the crowd control that they need. Stormball on Rogue, in cap on Cubsy, in the cap totem. That, that's a clean setup. Unfortunately, they just didn't connect on their target. If they can clean that up, they could swing this back to a game five. Yeah, I mean, there's no question about it. Rosita Jones could be in some trouble, though. Gets caught in the kidney shot. Whoopi charging in, wants to get the heals. Caught in the polymorph, though. Is there any follow up? Rosita Jones, heat trinkets out. He actually uses the stone form there. It's a very powerful defensive. It removes all the blind or all the bleeds as well as all the poisons to keep him alive. Now that he doesn't have that, he's going to be a little bit more vulnerable. But because he used the stone form, he still has that very powerful astral shift ability. All right, Cubsy on this large map that for fun selected. I, I don't think they had a lot of fun on Tulver Hunt, so they picked it again to do it again. I don't know, but I was expecting hook point or something a lot smaller than this. So if they, if they can win this, they remove the second biggest map from the pool, but they're risking a lot to do it on match point. Good crowd control initiated by the Super Frogs. Perfect execution. Omnivore in trouble, barely hanging on. Rallying Cry about to fall. Whoopi needs to connect some heals, but his counter spell available. He or mastery. He cyclones him at low health. This is a great play by the Super Frogs. This kind of crowd control setups that they initiate it multiple times can snowball a victory. Yeah, and you can see Wealthy Man and Chun Li. They both have their interrupts available. Whoopi very vulnerable. Pops away the crane. This is good instant healing for him. He just needs to connect to a target to top off Omnivore. Cubsy getting swapped to. He overextended. Barkskin and Ironbark going to be used. And now you can see Super Frogs. They're flailing. They need this game. Whoopi with a nice ring of peace, keeping Cubsy just in place. Whoopi trying to solo Cubsy right now. I don't think Cubsy's going to die to this, but maybe Whoopi buying enough time for Omnivore and Rosita Jones to reconnect. But the wealthy man really just having his way with these two melee on that Frost Mage, not allowing them to take down Cubsy. Right, well, they pulled out his entire defensive arsenal. They could switch to him again with Way of the Crane. I mean, that was a great play. All three of them were coordinated. They forced all defensive lineup because of this. And now Cubsy has to be afraid. Chun Li doesn't have Trinket to get out of stuns, and neither does he. So the next storm could close the game. Uh, four fun just need to focus.
focus for focus just focus up and they can take this there's an easy win condition right now on their screen save grounding totem deny polymorphs maybe in cap the rogue to deny kidney shots and they can easily kill cubsy through bear but they're losing that window of opportunity with barkskin becoming available for cubsy and they're really not initiating on anything at the moment Rosita just trying to recover throughout this kidney shot, and he's going to be able to survive. They're still just running down Wealthy Men, and it's I just don't feel like it's going to work for them on this big map. It worked on Dalaran, but on Astromaid's Fall, this is this can't be the right strategy. No, but at least they're making soft to Cubsy and Chun-Li occasionally. Wealthy Man under a lot of pressure. He trinkets out, trying to cut away. Polymorph's going to be casted out over and over. Nice kidney shot over on the Whoopi. Unfortunately, not capitalized on at all. Now Whoopi can sort of charge in. He gets a life sweep on the Wealthy Man. There's no kidney shot that makes him vulnerable. Wealthy Man going to get reconnected by Rosita Jones and Omnivore, but Chun-Li just trying to put up some pressure. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Super Frog has really found any damage. They're just trying to survive. You can see Cubsy very far away. He's trying to get out of combat so he can sit down for a drink, which regenerates his mana over time. That's why Wealthy Man and uh, Chun-Li, they're just trying to avoid as much damage as possible to allow Cubsy to rejoin his mana, and he did. He sat down for a big drink. Now he's basically reset to the point of where Whoopi's at. All right, Wealthy Man's got his icy veins up. He's trying to do big damage, but Omnivore shuts him down with a Storm Bolt. Good denial there. Nice usage of Storm Bolt, but he ultimately does get out. Smoke Bomb gets dropped. No Trinket on Rosita. Not enough damage, unfortunately, to push him over the edge. Winter denies any crowd control from Cubsy, and for fun, will survive. Moving into dampening. Mana basically tied at this point. No real windows of opportunity. Ascendance either needs to force an Ice Block or a swap over to Rogue. We see nice crowd control on Cubsy, but no cross crowd control with Storm Bolt. And now Whoopi gets denied on his way of the crane by Wealthy Man. They pop Ascendance on Cubsy. He needs to be careful. If he's a little bit too greedy, that could push him over the edge, but Chun-Li peels for him with a nice kidney shot. Whoopi moves in for a leg sweep, though. Omnivore is just chasing down Wealthy Man. <laughs> Again, like, the, the coordination just isn't there. The team synergy isn't there. They're all great individual players, but they need to start initiating together as a team. Yeah, they need to make sure they have their offense ready from all three members. Omnivore needs his mobility with Heroic Leap and Charge so they can actually seal the deal on the Cubsy. Rosita Jones basically wasted his Ascendance completely. Didn't really get anything except the Bark Skin. I mean, maybe they can capitalize on that. They can somehow get Cubsy's Trinket, but I kind of doubt it. Like I said, Wealthy Man, he's just been doing a good job just throwing out the Kona Colds, throwing out the Blizzards, throwing out the Novas. Really stalls out the game. Omnivore and Rosita Jones, although it appears they're really not doing much on Wealthy Man, at the very least, they're denying some polymorphs, you know, some frost bolts that build up procs, but it's really not that effective. Now you can see Wealthy Man looking for the re-polymorph onto Whoopi. Rosita Jones could be in some trouble. He trinkets out, throws some heals on himself. It's going to be fine. A nice defensive fear from Omnivore on the Cubsy, denying any cyclones onto Whoopi that allows him to top off his team. All right, Wealthy Man getting baited to use Temp Shield there, and Cubsy cloned to peel, so... That Temporal Shield is a powerful defensive. It's uh, all the damage that you take while it's active is stored. Then when the Temporal Shield ends or is removed, it bounces all that damage you took back and heals you for it. So it's very important against Burst Melee Cleaves that you time that well. So now it's not available for another 20 seconds. Chun-Li has Vendetta. He could make a play here. He goes for a Kidney Shot on Whoopi. I don't really like that swap. I would have liked to maybe seen a polymorph out of the kidney shot or, and then switch targets there. They switched to Chun-Li. Look at how much damage they do to Chun-Li. They just looked at him. That, that wasn't even any commitment of any crowd control. They literally just looked at him, and he had to use evasion. If for fun just commit to the rogue in this matchup, I think they can take it, but they're wasting so much time. Yeah, another blind on a whoopee. Rosita Jones, no trinket. If they can keep the stun lock up, he's getting lower and lower. Uses the astral shift. Is there any follow up? Cubsy looking for a cyclone, but Rupi, uh, Whoopi <laughs> rolls away, and Rosita Jones should be completely fine because of that. Right, Chun Li in stealth uses his vanish to try and survive. Nice counter spell by Wealthy Man. Trying to capitalize off the back of that, but Way of the Crane denies the kill. It's going to boost his team's damage a lot. I would love to just see an incapacitate on Cubsy. Stormbolt on Chun-Li. He's got no trinket. Instead, they're attacking into that temporal shield, which is just going to heal all of this damage back quite easily. Omnivore gets overextended in center field. Rosita's not locked down. He can support quite easily. Whoopi actually opts to trade Life Cocoon. Fair trade for Icy Veins, but now the Super Frogs can switch targets. They're going to go after Rosita, and he's a much more exposed target without personal defensives. 
It was a risky play by Whoopi to commit that cooldown, but they make it out. There's the crowd control. Incapacitate Cubsy, Stormbolt, Chun Lee. He shadow steps away, but he shadow steps into a double leg sweep. Nice punishment by Whoopi. Now the Ring of Peace, Cubsy against the wall, trying to make it, deny his escape. Unfortunately, not netting themselves a kill. Rosita was not able to connect. If they do that with all three players attacking Chun Lee, it's almost impossible that he survives. Yeah, Omnivore getting bursted down with a nice interrupt on the Whoopi once again. Nice CC chain coming in from Super Frogs. They may be able to take him down. He does have the dive on the sword. The Whoopi tops him off quite quickly, but you can see Cubsy once again playing very far away. His mana is very conserved at this point, whereas Whoopi's falling a little behind. He needs to try to sit down for a drink. You can see Cubsy's pushing on top of Whoopi because they know that is one of their clear win conditions in this game. If they can stall it out long enough, the Mistweaver Monk will eventually run out of mana, especially if they don't allow him to sit down for that drink. This Ascendance, deep in the dampening, should be pulling ice blocks or netting kills, and that Ascendance didn't do either. That's going to put for fun heavily behind. They're losing on mana. The map selection was terrible. They need to clean this up or they're going to be out of the tournament and Super Frogs are going to be breathing easy. They're slowly but surely walking away with this. Double stuns. They need to try and remove Rosita from the game as well, but not able to find it. Whoopi interrupts the cycle with the legs. Good cross crowd control. Nice targeting. Going after Chun Li. Dangerously low. Manages to pull Iron Bark. They actually get a bit of a cheeky sap on Whoopi and trying to capitalize off the back of it, but I don't think it's long enough to really find a kill. They go for the blind play. They're going all in on Rosita. The crowd control is there. They need just a little bit more damage. Rosita trinkets to try and deny the kill, but dampening is quite high. May not be enough. It looks to be the case that it will be. Cubsy Cyclones Rosita knowing that the kill is lost, trying to slow down the pressure. chun -Li actually running after Whoopi. Maybe trying to look for a kill on him or just some pressure to run him out of mana. Cubsy sitting down for a drink. Super Frogs are playing for the absolute late game and really punishing the map selection from For Fun. Yeah, Rosita Jones getting low. There's a kidney shot. And now Whoopi's caught in the full polymorph. Rosita Jones very vulnerable. He needs to get out of the smoke bomb. Whoopi needs to get out of CC. They might be able to take him down right now. And Super Frogs is that much closer to securing their spot at BlizzCon. That was a very important victory for them. You know, maybe a little sloppy play, but all feed versus the fake zebras were all tied up one and one Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind folks We're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth